Hello everyone, welcome to another video, it's Francesco here. So in this video, what I wanted to do is take some time to share my university and college setup. Now I've been studying at university for around about four years now, and I've picked up a few great resources along the way that I wanted to share with you guys so that you can implement them in your routines. Now these tools are mainly gonna cover the organization side of your college or university experience, but they're also gonna cover the distraction side and also preparing you for your career. Now, personally, I found these tools very helpful. So here is my college and university setup 2017. So when it comes to apps and resources that I use across my day, I start most of my adventures out with Evernote. Now Evernote I use for organizing most of my work, and also organizing the briefs around that. So with most of the lectures and activities I do at university, I get briefs with information about the coursework and exams. And having a place to store that and sort of have a base for that is important. So that's where most of my Evernote uh, storage and information goes. Now I make really effective notes in Evernote and I've actually been able to use this quite effectively while at university, not only to manage the school stuff, but also the outside of university stuff. So when it comes to Todoist, I use Todoist to organize any of my activities for university. So I mainly create a task for my coursework that have got to be done. And I add in these smaller tasks that help me complete that main or bigger task. Now I have a university project, although I do recommend anyone studying at university to have a project uh, per module which will be a great way for you to get started. But for myself, I just have one and encompass all of the modules inside that. Moving on to a calendar applications now, I recommend using something like Google Calendar. Google Calendar is great, I also have an extension for that, which basically encompasses any Google Calendar, Apple calendars that you do have, and I embed that with the university um, software. So basically now, all of my lectures appear on my calendar application. The calendar application I'm using in this video is called Calendars 5. I use it on my iPhone and it works really well. There's only an iPhone and iPad application available at the moment, but I find it runs well and it helps me organize both my um, personal, my work, and also my university organization. Now I put my calendar events that are lectures in red. Now this helps for like being able to see them quite visually at any given time. Skipping forward to distraction free stuff, I use rescue time to help uh, keep myself distraction free. This gives me a statistic at the end of the month and week uh, to basically showcase how productive I was. I can audit myself and go, oh my God, I spent too much time on certain things. But if you find yourself spending too much time on things, use an application called Forest. I use it, it's great. Basically the idea behind Forest is to basically stop you distracting yourself. So you, the aim is to build up trees, pretty handy feature. Uh, when you get started, you basically can build this forest, but if you exit the app, you basically kill that tree. So you, your aim is to keep inside the app so that you don't touch your phone and jump into other applications like Snapchat or any of the social networks. Now on my phone, I also use uh, Google Drive. Uh, Google Drive has been pretty handy, especially with group coursework. That's where most of the group coursework I've ever done at university have started. It's great for mobile as well because you can access it offline, edit it offline as well. So that's handy in case you're like traveling in a taxi or you're on the way back from home and you can just get some work done. Now Dropbox I find handy for organizing any uh, extra like items I've got, especially when you're transferring images or documents or videos uh, between class members. So that's a handy tip. Now when it comes to using other resources like Grammarly, I use Grammarly for all of my writing. So I create a new note in Grammarly and I actually get started. It helps me across my day as well because I use Twitter and all that and it helps me improve my grammar there. But essentially what it will do is it will vocabulary enhance 100 words in the free account. And that's great, especially for when you're writing your dissertation or any important piece. Now moving on and final to Cite for Me. Now this used to be Ref Me. I loved Ref Me, now it's Cite for Me. I organize my references. I find it a godsend because all I have to do is dump all the references there. I don't have to necessarily use a service like Evernote. Now in terms of most of these applications, the good thing is they're career ready, which means that after university, if I want to use these for a job, they are really preparing me for a job as well. They're keeping my organization system strong and they'll help me to set everything up. So I hope you enjoyed some of my recommendations there. Now all of the apps and tools that I'm using will be in the description below so you can have a download but in the comments I'd like you to share some of the tools that you're using at college 
or university to really enhance your experience. Hello anyway, guys, if you haven't subscribed yet, please do subscribe, it's free and you'll get regular videos, uh, three videos per week. So you'll be able to jump on and start using some of those videos to use in your daily routine. And you can follow me on Twitter too if you have any questions or queries about this setup or any of the apps that I've recommended. Anyway guys, make sure to have a great week, keep productive, and I'll see you guys very, very soon. Cheers.